In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce your video file size without reducing the quality. So I'll be demonstrating this on a Windows computer, but if you are running a Mac, then the steps are going to be exactly the same. So you can see on my computer here that this is my video file, and if I hover over it, it's currently 64 megabytes. So what I'm going to show you now is how to reduce this without affecting the quality. So all you simply need to do is head over to an internet browser, and you need to type in Handbrake Video Converter and hit Enter. And then we're going to click on this website here here, which is handbrake.fr. Now, if you're running a Windows computer, then just click on this big red download button, and that will automatically pop up with a download, and we can press save. Now, once your file's been saved, we can simply open it up from the downloads folder, and then you'll just need to go through the installation steps on the screen to install this to your device. So once it's finished installing, we can simply search for it on our computer and open up the application. And now what you'll need to do is upload your video file to this application. So you can either just drag your video file into the application like so, or what you can do is click on file in the left navigation, and then just navigate over to the video that you're trying to convert. Now once your video is uploaded, there's a few important settings that we need to change. So first of all, you have your preset at the top. Now I like to keep this on fast 1080p and 30 frames per second. Obviously, if you have a 60 frames per second video, then you may want to increase this to 60 FPS. Now, if you're going to be uploading this video to the web, then it's probably worth ticking this web optimize box over here. Make sure the format is set to MP4. Then we need to click on video in the top navigation. Make sure the video encoder is set to H.264. You need to make sure the frame rate is set to constant frame rate. And then click on this drop down and you want to scroll to the top and select same as source. So once you've changed these settings, simply click on browse in the bottom right hand side. Select the destination where we want to save this new video clip. And then you can also go and give your video a new name and hit save. Now, in order to start converting this, click on the start encode button at the top. And then you'll just need to wait a few minutes while that goes and compresses your video. Now, once it's finished converting, you can simply head over to the folder where you saved this new video file. So this is my video over here. And if I now hover over it, you can see the size has been reduced to 27 megabytes. So it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.